Today I'm going to be showing you how you can get this rain, cars, and a whole lot more in a set of Corsa or whatever it is that you may be trying to do with the game, whether you modding it or what have you, right? A lot of people want to do the same thing, but they don't know where to go or they don't know what to do. So the bit rate right now at this is at 6,000. Uh, I'm gonna have to put it up as we play the game or move around fast because it's gonna look crazy. I don't know how it's looking now, but it's kind of bright over here on this screen. This is a VA panel. I usually use my IPS panels, but I fixed it up in the settings to the best of my ability. As you can tell, the FPS at the top, it took down a little bit of my FPS, but not much. This is still pretty good FPS for a set of Corsa. I'm not moving yet, so, and I'll show you in a second as soon as I take this cam down. So right now on idle, just chilling, you see it's over a hundred and I and it'll go up as time uh, goes by. So we are about to get into it uh, with the Fanatec wheel, press master, stick shift, and the Logitech, now nah, I'm not using the Logitech stick shift. I was using the Logitech shift with this. So just because I know that if you're watching this, you're into the whole setup situation. So if you ever upgrade to a Moza, Fanat Fanatic, or what have you, you can still use this. There's no need for to spend 200 and something dollars on a stick shift unless you just get in it because everybody else has it and i know you want it like who doesn't right but uh at the same token i was having just as much fun with the logitech and the way i was able to connect it was with this 32 dollar plug that converts it into usb in fact it was by the same brand as this handbrake that stopped working two days later i'm in the verge of sending it back maybe but I like the way it looks. I think it looks those USB uh, uh, Amazon stick uh, handbrakes look better than the Fanatic handbrake. Uh, I don't know about the Moza, but I guess the color, like being red and black, blue, the way they come, I think that draws people attention more. It drew my attention more. So I, I don't know. But I'm, I'm, I think I may get the Moza stick shift, if anything. And then I'll, you know, everybody mix and matches. I didn't want to get the Fanatic stick shift. Number one, they take a few days and send in it. I like my things the next day. Uh, number two is that it's like a big black box. And I don't know, I, I thought it was ugly. But I don't know, I'm overall, I'm good with the uh, dress master. Uh, we just working on the handbrake situation, so I don't have no handbrake for now. Sometimes I use my button. I'm not the best drifter in the world. I just like, you could say started because some people got three years and five years drifting and they'd be like, I just started. But I don't even have a year, so, and I suck. But we working on getting better and I show from time to time the journey, right? That we suck. I'm practicing. I'm trying to learn it especially with this new wheel so let's get to it but let me show you this the links are in the description to that and my other platforms some bigger platforms than this and some smaller and i do a whole lot of content for over a decade uh you can hear my story and how i started doing all this but with that being said if you want to get the rain pure uh Everything I have is pure now. I took all the soul out. So, for those of you that know about that. And pure is amazing. You could do a lot of things. And I'll show you right here. And I got some drift car uh, in the links in the description. And I'm going to show you some of those cars that I got for you guys. So, check this out. This is how you do the rain. I'm even going to show you how to do this camera real quick. So once you got the rain pure, right? And everything, I'm, I'm figuring that you know how to set it in, right?
you're gonna tap on the left over here just with your mouse and you're gonna take out the pure now there's pure config and the pure uh, programmer situation but and there's two different two different ones I'm not gonna deal with this today right now because to be honest I haven't really dealt with it too much so I'm just gonna deal with the easier stuff for you to get the rain like immediately once everything is settled in there and you want to start playing right so if I want to shut the rain off all these three things are gonna pop out I'll just to the side right there as a matter of fact this pops out once you click on setting you see it goes away so you know the setting icon you click on the setting icon because other than that you could just automatically these pop up so you could just go like this and you having a different day and without saving it or anything so this is the cool thing i like this slider some people don't like it some people you know what it is change you got to get used to change change is good but it it, it it comes with a little uncomfortability and not for nothing i'm kind of like liking pure here when it comes to the clouds because you can set it on your own like darker or brighter and there was times that i'll do it on soul and i and i didn't know like like if that's what you're getting the cloud is like that and that's that you either change to another cloud or what have you right so I like the fact that you could just put this here like that. Bop, hit settings. Add some rain if you would like. Not too much, right? Or not too little. It's still raining there. So then you add the wetness to your floor here too. You could put it less like when it first starts dropping like when you outside and the drops first start dropping look at how realistic it got when i put it up you see more drops you see it right so now if you you know that wet look that people be taking the pictures and setting up the cars right <laughs> i'm about to show you that right now bro here we go you ready the floor is drenched now if you want water you add more water to it right So you're gonna see like little puddles of water popping up soon. Like you see right there in the corner, like a little puddle of water there, right? Now you could put up the mist, the humidity. I'm not gonna deal with none of that. I like to leave it just where it's at for me, right? Up here, I tried this yesterday. Up here, you tap right here where the circle is at, this black circle. You see this? And you tap on this circle and I, and look and then you right click and it shows you different scenes of the situation and that'll be i guess where your camera will be looking from time to time because just for right now like why would you add this somebody we was talking about this at a certain time you can set the time for it to stop raining like at one o'clock you could put it there's no rain you're driving then at two o'clock you could put it to switch to something else while you just here you can save it you get it so you don't got to keep going back and forth during your gameplay two minutes in your game it could start raining on you you get it So, that's kind of neat. I'm still trying to figure this out right here, to be real with you. I just got a little paranoid there when it, it threw me off, like it disappeared. But it's for this. You right click and it'll take you to a different part of the screen. You get it? 
and it turned black, black moon. I didn't know it was gonna do all that, to be realistic. But that was crazy. How do I get my stuff back? Okay, here we go. So it really got black. So I guess that has to do with all that. This is cool right there too. It's not too dark, it's nice and bright. So there's a lot that you could do with pure straight straight up after once you got it and then learn how to deal with stuff. You can save it. There's a lot of different spots uh, to save. I think he a left click to save as. I don't know. A cycle plan. Me personally, I'm just gonna not do that right now, but I'm pretty sure that's where you save it as self-explanatory. It says save there. And in the bottom here is for this light, what it says. And this is a multiplier, like a time multiplier. Bottom line is there's a lot of things that you could do, bro, with this. A whole lot. And I think it's amazing uh, how you can make something look so realistic. I have it on candy right now, so pure, you could, you could put it on different things. And even in here... I saw a guy change it to like candy and different things of pure. So my setup right now is on candy, pure candy. You know, there's different, I'm figuring you know a little bit about it, right? So now when it comes to the camera that I was just showing you like this for the car, this is amazing. You want to make sure that you match this with your wheel, with your driving wheel. Like that it's right in the middle, right? Like mine's, it's in the middle of my driving wheel. So I feel comfortable. I feel like I'm in this. You heard? Huh? So when you press here, it goes down on the top here. When you go here, all right, so where you get this from, you get it from first person camera and it's in the pure. You press up here on all apps, pop, and they pop out, and you look for it here. This is how I put this over here, where I shift, you see it. How I put the gears, they out, you see? Look, it's gonna disappear from here, and you know, it's gonna disappear. Pop, you see it, that disappeared. The gears pop on the corner, down the corner on the left. Pop, every time I press it, so you could have them not there or there, Sometimes I like to see them. I don't know why. But, pop, this pops out when you look for it within the app. You drag it to wherever you want to. You can make it bigger with these things up here. Or you can make it smaller. It depends. So you don't got to wear your glasses that day. <laughs> Vice versa. One side makes it smaller. The other side makes it bigger. So... Just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna make it pretty big to be fair to everyone. So right here where it says global settings, it's like it goes in or out. Like tiny, like up close like that. There's people that like it that way. I like it on 66. I don't know why the numbers weren't switching even before. That, that's, that wasn't happening when I had uh, <laughs> so, but it is what it is, bro. I could deal with a little knack, a little thing. So I like to keep it on 66, right? This whole uh, seat position, you could play with that. I don't know why the number is not here. There wasn't, there's always a number. Let me see if I take it out and get it again. Maybe it's acting up. You see, I'm getting it right now again. I tap my mouse to there, pop, it's still not here. All right, cool. So I guess it could be set to what the car is set to, but this is how you make the guy come all out. And you see inside the car. So it depends how you like it, you heard? If you wanna see the dude's whole body, or what have you, put the car up or down so you can see out the window more. You get it? Uh, I don't do it like that. I keep it. His head is cut off. 
They don't want to uh, blow up his identity. Sometimes I like it like this because I like to see the feet. Sometimes what they got to do with this to make it even super more realistic is connect the arms. So every time you let go, it let go. And I'm pretty sure there's some sort of sensor that they can make a wheel that could tell when you tap it. And when you change clutch or hit gas, the feet actually move to what you're doing. That'll be sick, bro. People will be like, oh, no, right? And I'm pretty sure somebody's working on that or every time they hear our ideas, they will run and work on it. But I'd be a multi-billionaire if I was to come up with that, like, like pitch that idea to somebody and they actually do it. Facts, because that's all this is missing. And the ability, like, uh, like GTA, for the dude to come out, even if it's out the car and sit there with his leg kicked up smoking a cigarette. <laughs> But anyway, pitch. If you take the pitch down, it brings it in or it brings it out also. So pitch, it lifts, it, it lifts like the guy. It brings it out, but it's lifting the whole map kind of sort of. It's like the same pitch in the camera that we using when you go over there. So I like to have my pitch like at 10. And this is normally almost at the same. It's kind of weird right now because I, I played with it hard body. But sometimes this is cool right here. This you got to be careful with. This varies depending on what cars. You always want to make sure that when you got a real, real mirror, that you're able to see your mirror at its full. I don't have a mirror here because and so I put the mirror, so I gotta find it here. That's what I just noticed. Where the fuck is my mirror? You know the mirror we have on the top to see behind us? I don't have one here, so I gotta pop, toggle that on, wherever that's at, because this is all new, the pure. To me, I was using so. To a lot of people it is, they haven't upgraded yet. We're afraid of change, but I think it's amazing. It does kind of sort of the same thing that Soul does, but I don't think their soul was this like accurate with the wet floors and the coloration. Just me. I don't know. I don't know. Some people like to see the front of their car. Some people like to see the whole wheel. It depends how you want it, bro. You get it? Right there, you can see the whole wheel. I think it's decent right there. So let me know what you think if you... Remember, in the description, there's a lot of goodies there and how you get all this. Once you got a set of Corsa and of course some sort of wheel and you figure it out and I'm pretty sure you find a million videos on how to do this, bro, around there.
Let's get it. Woo. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Yeah, they don't want us to win. So I don't know this car. I never tried it. I don't know no cars. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Whoa, with the rain, we gonna be sliding more. So when you turn the wheel too much, it could throw you off a drift. It's gonna be harder. Obviously. That. I think the cars look amazing with with candy. I'm not a drifter. I'm just starting to learn how to drift, bro. So maybe you can show me. Trying to get the pedal first. Guy, which one am I at? Hold on. Okay, it's 900. All right. Cool. I need a straight up, a straight up path. So my FPS was like 200 at times in game. Now it's like it went down like 30, like way more than 30. Sometimes it was at 200. Wow, how did we get in here? a fast car, bro. To be drifting with. For a beginner. I'll get it one day. I couldn't even do that before, bro.
<laughs> oh, he's stuck. For some reason, you gotta put more grip on the tires in the car. Like, it's sliding too much. I don't know, cause I'm doing it slow, but again, I never put grip, I never add it. Like, people add more grip to the tire. Like, so it could feel what's happening. I never did that to this car. So I don't know if it's that, but it just slides. It don't let you control it too much. So I don't know what, I mean, I could imagine what I'm doing wrong, right? But I'm not like a pro drifter. I plan on being one day. That's why I practice so my arms be burning. And I don't ask nobody because nobody really helps you in this. Believe me, bro. They say they do. That's bullshit. If you're not down with them, they're not helping you, bro. They only seem like they helping you when they making a video. In real life, they not helping you. Trust me when I tell you, you will learn on your own, bro. Especially if you the type of dude that got everything and when you go to talk to them, they see it and they like hating from the gate. No matter how much of a millionaire or a streamer he is, then it's just like, boom, oh shit. Like, I had to struggle, man, hard to get my shit or whatever. And they feel that everybody's a bum. You get it? <laughs> like, it's weird, bro. They don't know your struggle. They don't know what you've been through. You get it? They need to watch the videos. <laughs> if they trying to find out about me. But they not going to help you, bro. I promise. They lying. If you pay them, they're gonna help you. If you gotta pay them.
I don't know when it's doing that. When it's doing that, is that like a drift or a burnout? Like something is wrong there. Cause I seen the car light up on fire. Yo, crazy. And I'm like, am I burning it out or, or is it drifting? Cause I think it's two different things. I'm just trying to get the drift and a little control of the wheel to learn the wheel. I don't care if I go up on the grass right now because there's going to be a time where I learn how to maneuver around in perfect timing. I'll learn on my own, bro. I don't need no fucking... No fucking haters teaching me nothing. <laughs> 